Hey guys, Jim from MeasureSquare here. Welcome to the Installation by Phase tutorial in the MeasureSquare 8 Advanced Topic Series. For larger projects, the job is often sold and installed in phases. If you break a larger project into these install phases, MeasureSquare 8 employs the new phase mechanism, allowing us to view our diagrams, worksheets, and other forms at the phase level. In this video, we will cover setting up a phase, turning phase view off and on, assigning rooms to a phase, viewing phases in a by room breakdown, and seeing phases on a worksheet. To begin, we will select our rooms to be included in phase one. We will left click to highlight the first room and then hold down control on our keyboard and left click the remaining rooms. Right click on one of the rooms and select phase. We will select create. We will be greeted with the new phase pop-up where we can name our phase and select a display color option for our tab. Click OK. Note that our only selected rooms are showing in the takeoff tab and that the top left now shows our phasing menu. To make an additional phase, click on the green plus and configure accordingly. The eye icon to the right of the icons allow us to toggle phase view off and on. To view the room view by phase in the estimating menu on the right, click the list button to the right of the eye icon. To set the phase of rooms, we can click on the rooms we would like to add to the new phase and then click the button to the right of the room view button. We can then click on the appropriate phase from the drop down menu presented. To view a list of our phases, we can click the upside down triangle in the top left and click on the appropriate phase. We may also delete phases using the red X in this list view. To estimate by phase, go to the drop down menu located in the estimation settings area, select estimate by, and then choose phase. Click yes on the pop-up. Click the estimate calculator. Make sure that the estimate by phase is selected in the bottom right. Then select the checkbox next to the phase to be estimated, in our case, phase one. Click OK. To make a proposal for the phase, we will go to the Worksheet tab and click the New button to make a new proposal using the product template. We will see our three phases listed in our worksheet. Left click on the title of the line of the unneeded phase and click the Delete button. Perform this operation for any other unneeded phases. We can rename our proposal in the top right to reflect that it is for phase one, like so. Next, to view all of our documents required for phase one of our install, we will go to File, Print. We can select our documents as shown in the pop-up, making sure that we have phase one selected from the Select Phase menu. We can see that we now have our estimate summary by phase, phase diagram, and phase proposal in our packet. 